having more fun than a human being should be allowed to have. So all the news stories today about Obama not going away after he's president, not a one of them mentioned that I have told everybody for a year and a half this was going to be the case. Politico, Obama says he may take on Trump. New York Times, Obama may jump into fray as Democrats counter Trump. Well, I told people that when I heard that Obama was not leaving Washington, when I heard he was going to stay and remain, you know whose house he bought? Remember little Joel Lockhart, the guy used to be the, uh, he was a spokes, yeah, press secretary for Clinton. He's now working in PR at the NFL. He had this mansion, apparently. I didn't know press secretaries made this kind of thing. I guess he was a campaign consultant before him. He had a mansion in Washington, D.C. that Obama and my Bell are buying, and they're moving there. And uh, Obama's ostensible excuse was, well, you know what? I was going to leave uh, till I realized that my daughters need to stay here to finish school. Fine. When I heard that, I knew he was staying not because of his daughters, I'm going to tell you right now what's going on. I'm going to make the prediction I made a year and a half ago. Obama knows full well that he has been governing against the will of the people of this country. Folks, this is a fundamental point, a very, very important point. You must keep this in mind. Obama has known all along that he is governing against the will of the people. Now, some might disagree with me. You might think that Obama was sitting out there thinking that he was transforming America and a majority of Americans were happy and following along, but he can't possibly have truly intellectually thought that because he was presiding over the literal decimation of the Democrat Party. Obama has wrecked it, folks. Barack Obama's legacy is the destruction of the Democrat Party, and that is not exaggerating. Starting with the midterm elections in 2010, The Democrat Party has lost something like 19 or 20 governorships. They have lost 900 legislative, well, actually 1,200 seats if you count uh, governor and mayor and state legislature. If you go down to city council, those kind, they have just been decimated across this country. They have less power, elective power in Washington than they have had since the 1920s. Now, they still populate a lot of bureaucracy. Liberals do, non-elected positions. And they still populate uh, the the federal judiciary in a lifetime Obama and Clinton judge appointments. But in terms of elections, they have just been destroyed. That is Barack Obama's legacy. Now... Given his ego, I seriously doubt that he's concerned about this, but I know he knows it. In his mind, transforming America might be worth whatever pain caused to the Democrat Party. But make no mistake, Obama, not only has he known that he's governing against the will of the people, he's relished it. Do not doubt me when I tell you who liberals are, what they think, how they operate. When I deconstruct them, there's nobody better. It's not a statement of ego. It's fact. Lifetime of study. I know them better than they know themselves. And the reason is I'm more honest about who they are than they will be with you or themselves about who they are. And I'm telling you that while Obama knew the Democrats were losing elections, to him it was all worth it. If that's what it took to transform this country from its mistaken founding and whatever else he finds wrong with it. And that's the bottom line. He has known he's governing against the will of the majority. He has known the Republicans were afraid of him. He has known the Republicans were afraid of his race. He has known nobody was going to seriously try to stop anything he did because of his race. He's known this. And so he's been full speed ahead. One of the reasons they're all concerned about Trump being so easily able to unwind Obama's immigration is that he's not done it legislatively. He couldn't even get his own party to go along with most of what he wanted, so he had to do it via executive order. Well, those can be canceled. Trump can go in there and rip them up as soon as he wants to. And that is why Obama is staying. Obama 
is staying in Washington, and I will make a prediction to you, and it isn't going to be long before we find out. When Trump is inaugurated and starts doing whatever he's going to do, whatever that is, and if it involves unwinding, unpacking, unraveling anything Obama holds dear, he's going to be calling Chuck Todd. He's going to be calling Scott Pelley over at CBS. He'll call little Brian Stelter or Wolf Blitzer over at CNN. He's going to call them all. And he's going to start explaining why what Trump's doing is horrible and terrible, and he's not going to sit there and let it happen. It took too much political capital, he'll say. It took too much work. It's too important. We cannot allow this progress, he will say, to be rolled back. The lives of too many of uh, people will be affected, We can't, and, and the media will champion what Obama is saying, and it's going to be Trump versus Obama in the media continuing. Obama will continue to be supported by a minority of people, but the media will make it look like the whole country is outraged at what Trump's doing. I need you to prepare for this. When this starts to happen, the media is going to do what they always do and make it look like the entire country is outraged at what Trump is doing. There will even be stories. The media will go find a straggler here or there, maybe go back to Warren, Ohio, and find a guy who claims he voted for Trump, but he didn't mean for any of this to happen. And those are going to be front page lead stories. Unhappy, disgruntled Trump voters claiming that they were lied to, claiming this is not what they intended. And then cut to Obama. It's a very sad thing to watch all this progress. A lot of people paid a big price for the last eight years. They have it uh, just wiped out like this. Can't it? And it's going to be its own new battle. And the unknown factor here is going to be the Republican Party and where they come down when this happens. Because I think these news stories, New York Times, Washington Post, Politico, are making my prediction now fact. Obama says he may take on Trump. Obama may jump into fray as Democrats counter Trump. Make no mistake this is going to happen. And make no mistake the media is going to make it look like every one of you is also mad at Trump. None of it's going to be true.